Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your love, God. Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you for all the things that you are doing in the name of Jesus, and we give you praise. Father, as we come together tonight for prayer, we pray that you would lead us and guide us in the way that you would have us go. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for your great love. We thank you for this opportunity to come and pray even tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. We love you. We love you for all that you've done and all that you're doing even right now. Father, how you're doing marvelous things for us and you're opening marvelous doors. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this great time of prayer. Thank you for this time of intercession. Thank you for this open door. Thank you for bringing us here for such a time as this. Thank you for lifting us up when we are down and bringing us in where we are out. Thank you for forgiving us where we are wrong. Oh, thank you, great, glorious Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your saving grace. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we love you. And we give you the praise tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for allowing us to be here. Thank you for my mother, Mother Williams. Thank you, Father. Thank you for my family, my siblings. Thank you, Father. Thank you for my in-laws. And thank you for each of us. For those who are traveling even right now and going back to their various places. Father, we thank you for your outstretched hand. Thank you for your healing hand. Bring us into that place, God, that you desire us to be. Heal our bodies. Heal our minds. Heal us, God. Heal us as we are praying. Heal us, God, from our hurt. Heal us from the things that we have done that have hurt others. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Father, we come before you. We ask of thee to forgive us. Raise us up where we are out. Raise us up where we are down. Bring us in where we are out. Forgive us where we are wrong, Father, in the name of Jesus. We give praise to you. We give glory to you, excellent God. We give glory to you, marvelous Savior. We give glory to you in the name of Jesus. Father, we come against every enemy, every enemy of darkness. We come against it. We come against everything that's been fighting against us. We come against the devil. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. And the power of God, the power of his Christ is against you now. The power of the Lord's Christ, the power of the Lord's Christ is against you in the name of Jesus. Oh, righteous Lamb of God, who takes away all of the sins of the world, have mercy on us, excellent Father. Have mercy on us, excellent God. Have mercy on your children. Have mercy on us, for we are your children, sheep of your pasture. Have mercy on us in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you the praise, Father. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. The glory and the honor is yours. In Jesus' mighty name. Have mercy tonight. 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 Have mercy tonight, God. Have mercy tonight, God. Have mercy tonight. In the name of Jesus. Father, let your glory be revealed. Let your mystery be made known in the name of the Lord. Oh, God, come in our midst tonight. Speak through us tonight in Jesus' name. Lead us and guide us in prayer. Let us not pray with our own lips and our own words, Father, but you speak through us. You lead us and guide us in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, let your word go forth as a hammer that will break rocks in pieces. Let righteousness run down as a mighty stream. Let the weak say I'm strong. Let the bound say I'm free. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, great, excellent Father, we love you tonight. We give you praise tonight. We give you the glory tonight. Salvation and strength, power and might, wisdom and honor is yours. In the name of the Lord. Oh, God, we give praise to you. 
We give glory to you. Salvation is yours. Strength is yours. Oh God, wisdom is yours. In the name of Jesus, have your way tonight. Have your way tonight, God. Have your way tonight, God. Have your way tonight, Father. Have your way. You've been good to us all week long. You've been good to us. You've raised us up. you strengthen us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, excellent God. Hallelujah, marvelous Savior. Hallelujah, awesome wonder. Hallelujah for the things you're doing. Hallelujah, hallelujah for healing our bodies. Hallelujah for casting the devil out of our minds. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, excellent God, we give praise to you. Excellent God, we thank you now for give, making us proactive against everything that the enemy try to throw our way. You've making us observant. For we are observant, oh God, in the name of Jesus. For we are not, oh God, unwise. We are not unwise. We are not ignorant of the devil's devices. We are not ignorant of the devil's devices. We are not ignorant of the devil's devices. We are not blind that we cannot see. Oh, glory to God. We are not ignorant of the devil's device. We are not ignorant of your device, Satan. We are not ignorant of your device. We are not ignorant of your device. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Father, my life is in your hands. In the name of Jesus. For the next hour, God. We're in your hands. Watch over us, God. Let no enemy foreign and or domestic come near our dwelling. In the name of Jesus. Speak through us tonight, God. Speak to us from this place. Speak through us, O oh God, that the people may hear you. Speak through us, O oh God. Speak, God. Speak tonight. Speak to this people, God. There are many that are praying with us. Father, speak tonight and give healing. Speak tonight and give deliverance. Speak tonight and open blinded eyes. Speak tonight and unstop deaf ears. Speak tonight and show yourself strong. Speak tonight, God, and heal our bodies. Heal our troubled mind tonight, God, in the name of Jesus. Give us healing tonight. Give us healing tonight. Give us deliverance. Give us breakthrough. In the name of the Lord God, we give you praise. We give you the glory and we give you the honor. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, glorious Father. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for how you're doing it. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we give you the praise tonight. We give God praise tonight for the awesome thing that he's doing. The thing that the Lord is doing, they are marvelous in our eyes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God, tonight we want to come and as we pray, Father, we're praying, hallelujah, that your people will not resuscitate what you, what we were commanded to destroy. Oh, you command us to destroy the works of evil in the name of Jesus. You command us, oh God, to put a difference between holy and unholy, clean and unclean in the name of the Lord. You command us to walk right before you. You command us to seek your face, God. It is in your word, in the name of Jesus. And we dare not resuscitate that thing that we were supposed to get rid of. We will not resuscitate it. We will not look for it. We will not give leverage to it. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you. Now give us, Father, give us how to pray concerning this matter. Give us what to pray, how to pray. Lead us and guide us. Father, bring this, your people, together in one tongue, one voice, one mindset, God, one spirit, that you'd bring us together in the name of Jesus, that we might be a, that we might be a unified people of one. And we give you the praise for this. In Jesus' mighty name, we give you the glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory, God. We give you the glory, Father. 
We give you the glory. We give you the glory. Oh, excellent God, we give you the glory. We give God the glory. We give God the glory tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For those of you who are with us on the Lifeline, those who, who are with us on Facebook and our YouTube, tonight we thank God for your being here with us tonight. Tonight we're utilizing a subject uh, in our prayer. In our prayer we are speaking about do not resuscitate what you were commanded to destroy. Do not resuscitate what you were commanded to destroy. This is our prayer point. This is our prayer point. I'm fixing to give you the scripture. But the prayer point is do not resuscitate what you were commanded to destroy. And as we read the scriptures, you find yourself in the scripture. Amen. What to pray about, how to pray, how to destroy every wicked imagination. This is warfare, people of God. This is warfare. And this is the warfare prayer. Amen. But do not resuscitate what you were commanded to destroy. The lesson that we're going to talk about tonight is coming out of 1 Samuel chapter 28, verses 3 through 18 is where the lesson is found. 1 Samuel, let me put this on our little screen here. 1 Samuel chapter 28, verses 3 through 18. That's where the lesson is coming from tonight. Those of you who want to follow along with us, amen, and find it in your Bible, put it there. Amen. Do not resuscitate what you were commanded to destroy. And I believe that in this, when we begin to see the plot, the scheme of the enemy, then we'll know how to pray against the enemy. So as we begin to pray, we're asking God to lead us not only in revelational knowledge, but that the God would give us discerning of spirits. That God would utilize us in the gift of discerning of spirit so we'll see the movement of the enemy we'll see his plots his schemes the things that he have done and what other enemies he uses or whatever tactics or measure he would use to carry out his uh his deed and so we're going to look at this do not resuscitate what you were commanded to destroy and the lesson comes from uh, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 28 verses 3 through 18 and then it reads as follow now Samuel was dead Samuel was dead and all Israel lamented him and buried him in Ramah so he is dead and buried even in his own t city and Saul had put away those that had familiar spirit and the wizards out of the land. Saul is the king. We, we should know Saul is the king, but he put away those that had familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. Listening to uh, Samuel, Samuel gave instructions. Saul is responding. He drive out all of the wizards he drive out all of the familiar spirits, all those who are actually you um, having uh, those who are controlled by familiar spirits, who are walking in uh, uh, familiar spirits, and the familiar spirits and wizards are able to divine. They're able to conjure up. They're able to pull up and do some divining. And he's, and so Saul had put them all out of the land, and the Philistines gather themselves together. Now this is the enemy who come to fight against Paul. I'm Saul, I'm sorry, Saul. And the Philistines gathered themselves together and came and pitched in Shunem. And Saul gathered all Israel together and they pitched in Gilboa. And when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, when he saw how large they were, how many, how he was outnumbered, and how they were armed. They had men standing with them who were ready to fight and ready to die. Paul, and here's the enemy, he's using a, a, a tactic. And the tactic that the enemy is using here is fear. Notice verse five, and when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, he was afraid. God do not want his people afraid. So put on your list, one of the prayer points that we're going to pray, and I pray that you come with the list. 
I pray that in our prayers that you come in with a work list. And so uh, one of the things we're going to pray against, and that is fear. You will not walk in fear. You will not be afraid. Thou shall not be afraid. And you're going to say, I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid of the terror that fly by night. I will not be afraid of what men will say, or what men will do. I will not be afraid. I, I will not operate in fear. That's not my, that's not who I am. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. Saul was afraid and that is forbidden. It is forbidden to us for, to be afraid of the enemy. So we pray against fear. And his heart greatly trembled. He was literally having a heart attack. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, he had enough sense to pray. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not. The Lord answered him not because of a disobedience and he's breaking commandments. He's not listening to God. He's doing his own thing. This should tell us that when we do our own thing, God's not listening to us. God did not answer Paul, neither by dream, nor by Urim, nor by prophets. We've been to those places that God have not answered us by dreams, neither by Urim, nor by prophets. You've been to those places like a, 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 a just a long spell, a long place of silence have not heard from God then said Saul unto his servant then said Saul unto servant unto his servant and, and you got to notice this you got to notice this people of God notice this Samuel is a man of God Samuel is dead of course but notice he is a man of God he walks in that masculinity I'll say that again. He walks in the masculinity. Let me say that one more time. Stephanie, he walks in that masculinity. He's a man. He's a man that God ordained. God made him. God created him. He's supposed to be robust and strong and visioned and a chiseled face. He's supposed to be straight on and he's supposed to be rough and gruff. He doesn't have to be mean, but he's supposed to be rough. But notice what it says. Then said Saul unto his servants, Seek me a woman that has a familiar spirit. But notice, go back in the scripture. He put away those who had, verse 3. Now Saul was dead, and all Israel has lamented him, buried him in Ramah, even in, the, in his own city, and Saul put away those that had familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. He put away the familiar spirits and the wizards out of his land. But now he goes back, and you've got to take note of this. Please take note of this, because now that his back is up against the wall, he does something he said, then said Paul unto his servant, don't seek me out a wizard. Don't seek me out a wizard. Don't seek me out another masculine person. Don't seek me out one who is masculine, who is chiseled, who God has ordained to walk before me. Don't seek a prophet. I don't need a prophet. Don't find me a prophet. He's not looking for a prophet. He know about prophets, but don't seek me out a prophet. He says, then says Saul unto his servant, seek me a woman. He specifically called for a woman. Now, for those of you who are spiritual, those of you who understand some things about God, this is here, this right here, will let you know in the realm of the spirit, God don't play no junk. God don't play that. God do not play. This has nothing to do with God doesn't call women to preach. Has nothing to do with that. But to God, for this person to do this 
is not of God. In so many areas, it is not of God. And we're going to pray against the spirit because he specifically says he, what he wants. Seek me a woman that has a familiar spirit, not a prophet, but seek me a woman that has a familiar spirit that I might go to her and inquire of her. And his servant said unto him, behold, there is a woman that has a familiar spirit in Indo. I know he's not a prophet, but I want one who can do the work that looks like it's prophetic. It looks like he's doing the things of a prophet. So find somebody who have a familiar spirit. Find somebody who has a spirit that represents, look like, shape like, act like, can do some of the things that a prophet can do. Because the man of God, um, uh, Samuel, was every bit a prophet. Find somebody who has a, a familiar spirit that is almost identical. Almost. Notice, I almost. It is not in no way identical. Almost. What do you mean almost? Because if you're not careful, you're going to be fooled. If you're not able to see, you're going to be fooled. You're going to be bamboozled. You're going to be hoodwinked. If you're not careful, you don't have uh, 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 eyes to see and ears to hear, you're going to miss this. Seek me a woman that has a familiar spirit that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servant says unto him, Behold, there's a woman that has a familiar spirit in Indo. We know we pay for her. We, we paid her to do some work for us. We paid her to do this. You don't pay a prophet. You don't pay a prophet. But you pay those dividers. You pay those people who are have familiar spirits. They are money grubbers. They are money hungry. They want your money. They want to look like they're in this thing. We pray against that. We pray against that. No, this is not a message. This is us, our prayer points. Seek me a woman that has a familiar spirit that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servant says unto him, Behold, there's a woman that has a familiar spirit at, at Endor. And Samuel disguised himself. Now he is he the king, but now he's disguising himself because he know he's breaking every law. He know that he, he, he feel that he can hide. Why he's hiding? He's the king. He's the king. Why is he hiding? Because he know uh, 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 what he's doing is wrong and the ways of a transgressor is wrong. So he's disguising himself. He's breaking the law. Even though he's the one that's setting the law. Saul disguised himself, put on other raiments. He went and two men with him and they try to be kept incognito. They came to the woman by night. By night, not by day. Why? By night because your deeds are evil. And he says, I, uh, he says, I pray thee, divine unto me by again he's being very specific he's being very specific this is if this is not abomination in the highest order divine unto me by the familiar spirit I know you're not a prophet divine unto me by the familiar spirit and bring me him of whom I shall name unto thee and the woman says unto him, Behold, thou knoweth. She says, and she rehearsed this in his ears. She rehearsed this in his ear. Thou knoweth what Saul has done, how he hath cut off those that have familiar spirits. And the wizards. And the wizards, these are the male ones, the male witches, out of the land. Wherefore thou layest thou a snare. Wherefore now, in other words, why are you laying a snare for me, for my life, to cause me to die? Why are you doing this? And Saul swear, another form of abomination, another curse, bring, he bringing this upon his life. And Saul swear to her by the Lord. Saul swear to her by the Lord, saying, as the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee, for this thing. What thing? For being a false prophetess? For being a diviner? For being a, a witch? To being, yeah, and this is exactly what he's saying. So he's telling this witch, he's telling this uh, 
false prophet, the one that operates in a familiar spirit, that there will be nothing, no punishment will come upon you. And I swear to God, as the Lord liveth, is what he's saying. The Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing. Now he's in a bad fix now. He can't undo this. He's making a vow here. Then says the woman, whom shall I bring up unto thee? He says, bring me up Samuel. When the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice. And the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what sawest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the heaven, um, out of the earth. I saw gods ascending out of the earth. Well, you already know right now they're from the wrong place. You're not going to see God ascending up out of the earth. You're not going to see that. You, What you're seeing now is spirits, yeah, but they're demons. They're demons of what you're seeing because God dwelled in the heavens. He's not going to be coming up from the earth. He may come down from the heavens, but not up from the earth. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid for what thou sawest. And the woman says unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. And he said unto her, What form is he of? And she says, An old man cometh up. He, he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived, didn't say that he is, and so you got to catch that real carefully. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel. And he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disquieted me and bring me up? Saul answered, I am so distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and God is departed from me and answers me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called thee that thou mayest make known unto me what I shall do. Then said Samuel, Wherefore, wherefore, then doest thou ask of me, seeing that the Lord departeth from thee, and is therefore become thine enemy. And the Lord has done this, and the Lord has done, done to him as he spake by me. For the Lord has rent the kingdom out of thy hand, and given it to thy neighbor, even to David, because thou obeyed not the voice of the Lord, nor executed his fierce wrath upon Amalek. Therefore, says the Lord, uh, therefore has the Lord done this thing unto thee this day. Again, what is our prayer points? Do not resuscitate what you were commanded to destroy. People of God, let's pray. Do not resuscitate what you were commanded to destroy. Maybe it's your pride. Maybe it's love. Maybe it's uh, uh, I said love. It, maybe it's pride. Maybe it's that sin thing. Maybe it's that those uh, hateful feelings. You didn't forgive somebody. Something that should have been dead. Should have been dead. And you want to have been dead rather. And you want to revive it. You want to revive that old a uh, lustful life. You want to revive that smoking, those smoking habits, drinking habits, partying habits, clubbing habits, and the list goes on. Do not resuscitate that thing that God has delivered you from. Do not resuscitate those bad habits, those bad ways. Do not resuscitate those things. Father, have mercy upon us, O God. We stand before thee in the name of Jesus. You know us better than we know ourselves. Father, in Jesus' name, we come against every witch, every warlock. We come against every evil uh, 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 minion, everything, God, that have come to possess our lives and possess our faith and possess our freedom. It comes to possess our habitation. It comes to possess our possession. But, Father, we give praise to you tonight because no devil in hell is going to possess our possession. No devil in hell can have what you have given to us. No devil in hell can take what you have given to us. This is our heritage. This, this, this is our inheritance as well as our heritage. And the devil cannot have what you've given to us. 
Father, our faith is our heritage. And this place where we dwell is our inheritance. You've given us this place. You've given us this space. But thou, God, have made room for us in the mighty name of Jesus. And we will not share your glory with the devil. We will not share your glory with the familiar spirit. We will not share your glory with the false prophet or false prophetess. We will not share your glory with that which is not of your father. Have mercy on us and Open our eyes and call us to see, Father. Open our eyes and call us to see the hoodwinking and the bamboozling of the enemy as he come to blind our eyes and blind our mind and all oh God to overthrow us. But the devil is a liar in Jesus' mighty name. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. The power of God is against you. Even right now, the power of God is against you. We take a stand for righteousness and we stand against sin. We take a stand for righteousness and we stand against sin. We take a stand for righteousness and we take a stand against sin in the name of Jesus. And we pull down every stronghold of the enemy. We pull down every evil imagination. We cast down wickedness. We cast down every devil in Jesus' name. Oh, Father, your word declares, suffer not a witch to live in the name of Jesus. And we will not give life to that enemy. We will not give that life. Uh, we will not give life to the enemy of abomination. We will not give life to the enemy. Oh God, that false prophet, that false prophet, that rebellion in the name of Jesus. We give no life to it. Satan, you have no life here. Satan, you have no leverage here. Satan, you have no victory here in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we pray now that thou will overthrow this enemy, that thou will overthrow and pull the cover off of this enemy, even right now. The enemy that lurks among your children, the enemy that walks among them daily, that they cannot see his encroaching way. They cannot see him in the name of Jesus who are dwelling in the midst of your children. But Father, remove the cover off of that enemy's eyes. Remove the cover from the people. Remove the cover from the people's eyes, Father, and let them behold the enemy. Let them see. Let them see. Let them see. Let them see. Oh, God, let them see the wolf in sheep's clothing. Let them see that one that is amongst them. Oh, God, that's giving their information to the devil on how to make them weak, how to cause them to be fearful, how to cause them to fall, how to weaken their fortified area in the name of Jesus. Father, we come against that enemy. We come against that devil now in Jesus' mighty name. Satan, in the name of Jesus, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. We bind you now. We take authority from you in the name of Jesus. For you have no power over our life. You have no power over our habitation. You have no power in the name of Jesus over our heritage. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you now. We thank you, Father, for giving us the authority uh, to call it what it is. And you say whatever you shall call it. That's what it shall be in the name of Jesus. And tonight, Father, we call him a curse. Satan, you are cursed in the name of Jesus. You are cursed into outer darkness. You are cursed into outer darkness. You are cursed into outer darkness. You are cursed into out of darkness. Tonight, thou art cursed into out of darkness in the name of Jesus. Father, for your word declares in Jesus' mighty name. Adam, whatever you call it, that's what it shall be. Father, is not, are not we, Adam, are we not earthly? Are we not created from the dust, dust of the earth? And we are labeled as Adam in the mighty name of Jesus. And you have given us dominion. Thou God has given us this dominion. And with the dominion that thou have given to us, in the name of Jesus, we will rule wisely. We will observe wisely in the name of Jesus. And we do not, oh God, turn our back to sin as if it does not exist. We do not close our eyes to, oh God, the, the encroachment of the enemy. We will not close our eyes to the sin, to the degradation, to the thing that we have killed, to the thing that you removed from us, to the thing that you have destroyed in us to bring us to salvation 
and to go back to it and to resurrect that thing that thou God has killed, thou God has put it into it and to raise it up is an abomination. And tonight, abomination shall have no place in our life. It shall have no place in our life. We come against it in the name of Jesus. Say that the Lord rebuke you. The power of God is against you even right now, even right now. But thou art cursed, thou art cursed, thou art cursed below the cattle. Thou art cursed, thou art cursed, and on thy belly shall thou go. In the name of Jesus, on thy belly, on your belly, on your belly, Satan, on your belly, on your belly shall you go, for we shall crush your head. We 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 crush your head in the mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Part of your word declares, for it shall bruise your heels, but you shall crush his head in the name of Jesus. Tonight we crush his head, God. We crush his head. We crush, we crush, we crush, we crush his head in the name of Jesus. For you, Father, hallelujah, through that of your son, Jesus, the Christ of God, he was wounded for our transgression. Chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are healed. We are delivered from darkness. We are delivered, oh God, from sin. We are delivered, oh God, from iniquity. And we give praise to you. In Jesus' mighty name, say the Lord rebuke you. Say the Lord rebuke you. Sickness, the Lord rebuke you. Oh, cancer, the Lord rebuke you. Tumor, the Lord rebuke you. Evil, the Lord rebuke you. In Jesus' mighty name. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Haba seke yaba. I see you, you snake. Hale bo se ni haba si kataya. O bo seke. I see kaba se otaya. O na kaba si andolo kose. Aba si andolo. I pare keke yaba. Talaba si Roboko se ke de abala ka si andolo me ka ba si ka ne de te la ba se ka ta ya oboko le ke ya bala ka la ka la ni ka ba la ka je he ke ya ba si andolo robo te de ya ba ko ko se ke de ya in the mighty name of Jesus aba si ka na ya on your belly on your belly on your belly ya Satan on your belly ya snake you in the name of Jesus Hallelujah Hallelujah you serpent of darkness. We crush your head. We crush your head. We crush your head. We crush your head. We crush your head in the name of Jesus. We suffer you not to live. 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 For thou art cursed below the cattle, thou art cursed below the fowls, thou art cursed, thou art cursed, thou art cursed to the dust, thou art cursed and on thy belly shall thou go. In the name of Jesus, oh Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, we give you praise tonight, we give you the glory and the honor, salvation and strength, power and might, wisdom and honor is yours in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Sabasekidea, Nalabasi Kandolo Kosekidea, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. We do not walk in fear. We do not walk in fear. We do not walk in fear. In the name of Jesus, your word says, For thy rod and thy staff, they comfort us. You will lead us and guide us. You will lead us and guide us. You will lead us and guide us, Father. In the name of Jesus, just as you lead us beside still waters, just as you restore our soul, just as you lead us in righteous uh, in the path of righteousness for our namesake. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We walk through the valley of the shadows of death. We will not fear any evil. We will not fear any evil. Yes, we walk through the valley of the shadows of death. Yes, we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, but we shall fear no evil. For you, God, you, Father, are with us. You are with us. Thou, God, are with us. Thou, God, are with us. Your rod and your staff, hallelujah, they accompany us. 
they strengthens us. Oh, hallelujah. Father, we give you praise tonight for your protection is sure. Your protection is sure. Father, your protection is sure. Father, your protection is sure. Father, your protection is sure. Oh, God, your oh, protection is sure. And we give you praise, Lord. 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 For your protection is sure. Your protection is sure. Your protection is sure. Oh, Father, open our eyes and cause us to see. Open our eyes. Open our eyes. Open our eyes and cause us to see. And we shall see clearly. And we shall see clearly. And we shall see clearly the things that thou, Father, art doing. And they shall be marvelous in our eyes. In the name of Jesus. O Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. We bless you forever. We glorify you. For thou God has created us for your pleasure. We offer your pleasure. We offer your pleasure. In Jesus name. So tonight we surrender to your pleasure. We surrender. We submit ourselves. And we surrender to your pleasure. We submit ourselves to you, Father. We submit ourselves to you. Father, we submit ourselves to you. We submit ourselves to you. We present ourselves and submit to you. We report for your pleasure. For we are for your pleasure. In the name of Jesus, O oh, great glorious Father, to carry out your assignment for us in the earth realm. Father, we report for duty. We report for duty. We report for duty. We report for duty. In Jesus' name. And we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you the praise. We give you the praise. And we are watchmen on the wall. We give you praise. And we give you praise, Father. We give you the glory and the honor. For thou, God, reigneth forever and ever. And there's no ending to your reign. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. We bless you. Oh, we glorify you. We glorify you. We pull out every stronghold. We cast out every evil imagination. Say the Lord rebuke you. You have no right nor lot in this matter. And we cast you out of the thought, out of the mind. We cast you out of the body, out of the body, out of the muscles, out of the tissues, out of the sinew out of the nervous system, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Noko Sikide. And Baba Sikide O Sikide. In the name of Jesus. Father, that person that is confined to a wheelchair, even tonight, Tabole ke mene asi ondolo. Father, that person that is Kabasiando, Kaleose, Kineasi, Iliabala, Kaseke. Father, confined, confined to that wheelchair. The name of Jesus. Oh, Father, raise them up tonight. Paleose, Abasikini. Father, raise them up. Give them mobility. Give them. Movement of limbs, movement of limbs. Mo Let there be movement of limbs. Unglue them, unglue them, unglue them, unglue them, Father. Unglue them from that chair. Straighten out their motor skills. Call their motor skills to return. Call their motor skills to return. Hallelujah. Father, I speak life to their motor skills. I speak life to their motor skills in the name of Jesus. I speak life to your motor skills in Jesus' name. I speak life to your balance, to your equilibrium, to your vertigo. May God give you strength. The power of God heal you now in Jesus' name. Be thou healed. Be thou delivered. Be thou set free in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Father. Tonight, let every yoke be destroyed. Every yoke person, every person, if you are listening to me and you're on the social media platform and you know that I'm speaking to you, just lift your hands. I'm not talking to everybody. 
but the ones that they know, they know who they are. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. If you're dealing with cancer, lift your hands. Tumors, lift, lift your hands. There's a, there's a rash, there's a rash, skin disorder. Skin disorder, lift your hands. Uh, yeah, you, you lifted it out of obedience. You're lifting it as joining to say, yes, that's me. I've got a skin disorder. Mm -hmm. I got a blood disorder. Lift your hands. Blood disorder. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, I don't know what is going on, but there's an infirmity in my body. There's a swelling. There's an infirmity. There's a burning in my body. And I'm lifting yeah, Lift your hands in the name of Jesus. Father, these persons with their hands lifted, their balance is off. There's a burning. There's, there's an improper balance. There's, there's a dizziness going on. There's some dizziness. There's some dizziness. There's some tooth decay in the name of Jesus. There's some tooth decay that's going on. There's some improper balance. Oh, Father, hair falling out. Oh, Father, oh, Father. Oh, Father, the Manusi, O Manusi, Yabasi, Idi Abasi, Kanolobo Seke, Yaba, Neyabasi, Kanoloko Seke, Ya, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, give their deliverance. Give deliverance tonight, Father. I pray for these, Father, those persons who got the, sy the symptoms, the symptoms that I've called out, the symptoms, the symptoms, oh, God, that situation. Oh God, that is plaguing your people. The cancers, the tumors, the blood issues, God. The, uh, yeah, 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 the blood issues. In the name of Jesus, Father, those things that have been affecting these people, give the bash, katoye, kamane keshi, kataya, uniebe shikidea, tabase kaba, eaba. In the name of Jesus. The Lord heal you now. The Lord heal you now. Yes, God, the Lord heal you now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For the leaves are good for the healing of the nations. In the name of Take up the fruit now. They both say. Take up the fruit. Take up the fruit of the tree of life. Take from the fruit of the tree of life. And eat therefore. And oh God, in the name of Jesus, we give you the praise, Father. We give you the praise, Father. We give you praise. Let these be healed. Let these be delivered. Let these come to life. Dry up everything that need drying up. Speak life to that thing that have died. Resurrect what need to be resurrected. Break through, God. Break through that place in Jesus' name. Father, go to the hospital. In Jesus' name. Jerry, the Lord touch you now. Jerry, I call you. I call you to life. Lift up your head, Jerry. Lift up your head. Lift up your head, Jerry. Lift up your head. 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 Lift up your head, man of God. Lift up your head. In the name of Jesus. And there's so many other Jerry's. They have different names, but they are Jerry's. They're all Jerry's tonight. Your brother becomes a Jerry. Your sister, who behind prison bars, become a Jerry. But they're all Jerry's tonight. And God know each one of them, the male and the female. But tonight, you are Jerry's because you're behind a bar. You're behind a prison wall. The name Ashikiyoseyata. Father, have mercy upon them. In the name of Jesus, Father, visit them, even behind the prison wall. Visit them tonight. Give them a Peter's experience. Father, give them a Peter's experience. Give them a Peter's experience, Father. 
in the name of Jesus, give unto this people a Peter's experience. I speak of Peter's experience over your life. I speak of Peter's experience over your life. Those persons who are incarcerated right now, you know the Lord as your Savior. In the name of Jesus, be thou delivered and go and sin no more. In the name of Jesus. I speak this in the realm of the Spirit. Be thou delivered and go and sin no more. Be thou delivered and go and sin no more. Be thou delivered and go and sin no more. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you. Your word says, Go and sin no more, lest the worst thing come upon you. Go and sin no more. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise tonight. We give you praise for your glory. We give you praise for your glorious wisdom. We give you praise for the thing that you are doing. The thing that you are doing, they are indeed marvelous in our eyes. Father, we pray for the peace of your people. We pray for their wisdom and their strength. We pray for their stability, God, in the name of Jesus. And that person not knowing how they're going to pay their bill, you will overcome. You will come through this. You will not lose your house. You will not lose your car. You will not lose your house. You will not lose your car. And you're not going to lose your children in the name of Jesus. Father, oh God, come through for them even right now. Come through for them. Come through, come through, come through tonight, Father. Come through for those persons. Come through for them. Come through for them. Come through for them. Come through, Father. In the name of Jesus, come through for them. Come through for them. Come through for them. In the name of Jesus. And Father, that person, Hallelujah, right now, who are in dire need of a shelter, in dire need of a shelter, who are in dire need of a shelter, that person who are in dire need of shelter, you're in dire need of shelter, you're in dire need of shelter. Father, locate that person, locate that person, locate that woman now who are in dire need of shelter. Locate that person now. They have no place to go. That uncomfortable place. That uncomfortable place. Father, break them from that assignment. Break them from that assignment. Break them from that assignment. Open doors. Open avenues. In the name of Jesus. If it is of your will. If it is of your will, Father, if it your will, let your will be done. If it's of your will, if it's of your doings, if it's of your doing and your will, if it's your doings and your will, if it is of your will and doings, Father, if it's of your will and doings, in the name of Jesus, let your will be done. Let your bo shikini, shiki, 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 shiki. Siki, 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 kini abo siki ya. Shini abo siki ne. Ni siki abo siki no to. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Sabasi. The name of Jesus. Loose your devil. 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 Loose your, loose your, loose your devil. Loose your devil. No more sick of ya. No more sick of In the name of Jesus, loose ya. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the praise now. We give you the praise for the thing that you are doing. In Jesus' name. Your glory shall be revealed. Your mystery shall be made known, Father. That thing that is of you will work out. Father, that thing that is of you will work out. That thing that is of you, Father, will work out. That thing that is of you will work out. For we are for your pleasure. And anything that's for the Lord's pleasure will work out. I wish I had somebody that says, That thing that is of the Lord's pleasure will work out in the name of Jesus. 
and I am for the Lord's pleasure and he shall work me out. He shall work it out of me. He will get his pleasure out of me. He will work it out, 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 work it out in the name of Jesus. For what is his pleasure concerning you? He knows. He knows. What is his pleasure concerning you? He knows. Remain pliable. Be pliable. Remain pliable, usable. In the name of Jesus. Accessible. Become accessible. Be pliable, usable. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go, God, we give you the praise tonight. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for caring for your children. Thou careth, Lord. Thou careth, Lord. Thou careth, Lord, for me, for me. Thou careth, Lord, for me. Oh, God, care for your children tonight. Father, watch over each one of these, God. Open their eyes and call them to see. Let them no longer have a let them no longer see in blind. Let them no longer, let them no longer, let them no longer see a brick wall. Let them no longer see a brick wall. Let them no longer hear the ringing in their ears. Take away the ringing in the ear, God. Take away the ringing. Take the ringing from the, remove the ringing from the eardrum. Remove the ringing. In the name of Jesus, of Onia. Father, remove the ringing of the ear. Turn it around for them. Turn it around, glorious Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Show yourself strong, Holy Father, in the midst of this, your people. Father, get your glory out of their lives. And those persons who you've ministered to know who they are, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we speak your word, we speak your truth tonight. Oh, we give praise to you tonight, Father. I pray in Jesus' name that your children, O oh God, will receive the manifestation of the Holy Ghost, of the workings of God, of the breath of God, the healing hand of God, the deliverance of the Lord in the name of Jesus. O oh, Father, they will stand on your word. They will not cave to the left nor to the right, but they will always trust you in Jesus' mighty name. Father, let your glory be revealed. Let your mystery be made known. Even tonight, even tonight, even tonight, even tonight, Satan the Lord rebuke you. The power of God is against you. In Jesus' name, you are a deceiver and your plans will fail. Your plans will fail. Your plans will fail. Even tonight as men gather to vote, as men gather to vote their heart, their conscience for their, what they want, for what they want to accomplish. While many of the polls are still open, they're somewhere, Father, and about to close. Father, I pray even right now, even in this wee hour of the night, that we have shifted over to the ninth day of this month. Father, and that in the midst of the shifting, I pray now that you will not only get the glory, but that you begin speaking to this people. Father, give them an encounter. Give them an encounter of you. Reveal yourself to them. Or reveal yourself and speak to them. Let none of these, God, become comfortable where they are. Let none of them become comfortable and at ease in Zion. But Father, I pray Oh God, that you would, oh God, put a prod on the, all of us, trick all of us, move us, God. Stir us up, Father. Stir us up for the better good. Stir us up, Father. Stir us up and motivate us in Jesus' mighty name. That we will come behind in nothing. We will not come behind in nothing. In nothing we will come behind in. But Father, we will step up. And we will be blessed stepping up. We'll be blessed going forward. But we are the head and not the tail. We are the lender and not the borrower. We are above and not beneath God. 
in the name of Jesus, for we are yours, sheep of your pasture. We are your children, Father. In the mighty name, you've been faithful to us. You've been a blessing to us. But Father, we do not give the enemy permission, oh God, to terrorize our family. We give him no permission to come near our dwelling. We give him no permission to touch our lives. We give that devil no permission, Father, in the name of Jesus. And we will not walk in fear. We will not walk and be intimidated in Jesus' mighty name. Father, for we are yours. We are yours, Lord. We are yours. Our life is yours. Our hearts are yours. In Jesus' mighty name. Listen, I thank God for Jesus. And I thank God for each one of you being here with us tonight. But we cannot, amen, do not resuscitate what you were commanded to destroy. Saul was commanded to destroy the witches and, and the Malachites and all these different things. He was commanded to do so. But at some point, his back is up against the wall. And now he's calling for that thing that he was supposed to destroy. And that always, when we violate the plan of God, it goes against us. It does not work in our favor. But that is not your portion. It shall not be your portion. For your eyes is fixed. Your eyes is fixed on him. Your eyes must be fixed on him if you plan to move forward and go and do the thing that God has called you to do. Your eyes must become fixed on him. He must become your gaze. I'll say this again. The Lord must become your gaze. He must become your satisfying portion. He is the one that you should run to in Jesus' mighty name. Love the Lord with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your might, with all of your strength, with everything that is in you. Love the Lord. Don't turn to the left nor to the right. And somebody God's going to give visitation to. Is it you? Who's he going to give visitation to? God's going to visit many of you. God's going to visit you. And you're going to have a, an encounter. I pray that you have all of you have out-of-body experiences. I pray that you will. Sooner or later, that you will. Father, give these an out-of-body experience. Give them that experience, Father, that they will see themselves on a mount of transfiguration. And they would hear you say, this is my beloved son who I am well pleased. Speaking of that of Jesus. And Father, that they would know that it was the spirit of Christ, the very presence of Christ that came unto them and spake unto them in the name of Jesus. Oh, and you lifted them from where they were. You put running in their feet, clapping in their hands, a song of praise in their mouth. And I give you praise, Father. Father, give them healing. Let none of these, oh God, have heart problems and high bloods and low blood and, and all kind of diabetes because the doctors say that they are diabetic. You will not be a diabetic because the doctor called you a diabetic. You will not be sick because the doctor called you sick. You will not lose your mind because the doctor said you're going to lose your mind. You will not die because the doctor said you're going to die in the name of Jesus but you shall outlive the doctor who said that you shall die and not live may you live long may you please God and may you go on and do the thing that God has called you to do and do not do not resuscitate the things that God commanded you to destroy or that God had destroyed for you do not resuscitate that thing Give God glory to God. Give praises to God. Thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you for praying with us tonight. And uh, yes, we're getting ready to go, but I do want to say this, that it was my intention. I'm speaking to Lifeline. I'm speaking to uh, YouTube as well as the Facebook Live. It was my intent to be on here today, early at the 5.30 hour. And when I came on, uh, of every, my computer failed, not my computer, my phone. I used my phone to come on and, and, and minister to you, but it failed on me. I don't know why. It says internet problem. Well, not internet, network problem. 
but it wasn't the internet. It was something that was on the app that it did not want to work at all. But I thank God that we're here tonight and we plan to be here on tomorrow. Lord's willing, I'm gonna say, it, Lord's willing, we plan to be, I plan to be here every day that the Lord will allow me to be here. So keep praying for us. I'm praying for you, each one of you. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your healing, uh, Catherine Webster. I'm praying for you, each one of you. So keep doing the Lord's business. Keep loving God with all of your heart. Mother William, so happy to have you with us on tonight in prayer. It always does my heart good and wonderful to know that you are here and listening in. Thank you. All of you, the Lord's people, we love you. This is gonna, this is gonna do it for us tonight. Amen. We're gonna go out separate ways, but Lord's willing, uh, tune in tomorrow. May you go blessed. May you go full. May you lack for nothing. May the Lord bless your going out as well as your coming in. Walk in that grace. Walk in that victory. Walk in that healing, knowing that you are created for the Lord's pleasure. Be blessed. Have a great night. In Jesus' mighty name. Bishop, I see you, sir. So happy to have you with us tonight. Be healed. Be strengthened. Be blessed, man of God, you and your family. We love you from this end. We love you from this end. We appreciate you, man of God. Timothy, we love you, sir. God bless you, Bishop. Amen. Each one of you, go in the strength of the Lord. Lifeline. If anybody